I don't use fear tactics in my videos, but what I'm about to tell you might scare you because I have had this exact same scenario happen multiple times now. I had a mom reach out to me about joining my course because she follows me here and hears me talking about age-appropriate sex ed all of the time. But when she told her husband, he pushed back. He thinks that their kid is too young to learn about adult topics. Now, I totally get that. I understand this very common concern because many parents have it. So I said to her, I said, you know what, let's meet. I will talk with you and your husband and I will show you how age appropriate sex ed has been highlighted as an effective way to reduce the risk of CSA. And I'll show you all of the evidence around how early sex ed helps to build trust with parents and creates a home environment where kids feel safe and comfortable asking questions. Now, if you're curious to know what this research is, I'm going to share that with you right now. And the links are in the description, but if you don't care about the research, you can just jump to the next timestamp. According to the CDC, one in four girls and one in 20 boys in the US experience child sexual abuse, also known as CSA. About 90% of CSA is perpetrated by someone known and trusted by the child or the child's family member. According to the Child Molestation Research and Prevention Institute, 95% of all child molestation can be prevented and we have the knowledge to stop it. In the World Health Organization's International Technical Guidelines for Sexuality Education in the section on violence and staying safe, it states in the learning objectives for children between the ages of five to eight years old to recognize child abuse and understand that it's wrong. It says the child will be able to define child abuse, including sexual abuse and online child sexual exploitation and demonstrate actions they can take if an adult tries to sexually abuse them. Now, age appropriate sex ed at five years old for the sole purpose of CSA prevention is not going to be exactly the same as age appropriate sex ed at eight years old. So to give you an example of this is if you're explaining inappropriate touch to a five-year-old, you're not going to use the word sex but with an eight-year-old, you may. It's not mandatory, of course, but the guidelines have found that incremental medically accurate and age-appropriate sex ed has been linked to a child's health, well-being, and universal human rights. So this begs the question, right? How do we know that explaining what is sex to an eight-year-old is a protective factor against CSA? The basic answer is, is from the current available research, we know that CSA is preventable but there has been very little investment in researching CSA prevention specifically. Therefore, we have to take what we know about how comprehensive sex ed can equip children with the knowledge and skills to protect their health, and this in turn reduces the risk of child exploitation and abuse. So when I make the recommendation right here on this channel to explain what is sex to your kid at some point during the intermediate age, which is ages seven, eight, and nine, it doesn't mean that you have to explain what is sex right at age seven. It means that you've got to start thinking and looking for the signs that your kid is ready to learn what is sex at some point during the next three years. Because parents, you can't be saying the same thing to your eight-year-old that you've been saying to your five-year-old. Their critical thinking skills have been developing and it's very likely that they've heard this word and are wondering, what does it mean? So now a week goes by and I haven't heard from the mom, so I reach out to her to see if there's any further questions that I can answer. And that's when she tells me that her husband believes that learning what is sex at eight years old is a bit extreme. And he believes that their kid should get to have a childhood before learning all of this sex stuff. So now here is where I ask her, okay, if eight years old is too early, then what age? At what age do you want to explain what is sex? to your child, because then I can work with that and I can help them to build up the talks so that they are ready to explain what is sex at that age and they feel really comfortable. And then that's where I get told, I don't know, but he believes right now is just too early. So when I hear that, when a parent tells me that they believe that explaining what is sex is not age appropriate after I tell them the facts that yes, it is age appropriate. And I share with them the stats that 95% of all child molestation can be prevented. And it's done mainly through education. To me, that's an extreme knowing all of that and still choosing not to provide the kid with medically accurate and age appropriate sex ed. So let's look at the extremes. On one end, you've got a person who is learning that age-appropriate sex ed includes explaining what is sex at some point during the intermediate age, and they actively disregard that guidance. That 
is putting a child at risk for becoming a victim of CSA. And now as a professional in this field, I'm gonna tell you the other end of this extreme. If a person actively does not want a child to be educated on what is CSA in an age appropriate way, to me, that automatically raises a red flag and suggests that this person may benefit from an uneducated child. And therefore this child is put at risk for becoming a victim of CSA. I mean, hearing that you gotta ask yourself, right? Could this person have an ulterior motive around why they do not want the child to know what is sex? Now, these are the extremes for avoiding age-appropriate sex ed, and they both put a child at risk for becoming a victim of CSA. On the one end of that extreme, the adult genuinely wants to wait to explain what is sex because they think the child is too young, where on the other end of that extreme, the adult wants to wait because they have an ulterior motive. Like I said, this is not intended to scare you, nor is it an accusation. It is to offer you a perspective of what professionals who work with victims of CSA have oftentimes heard when age-appropriate education is actively disregarded. So if you are against incremental age-appropriate sex education, then I would suggest that you be very clear on why you believe a child should not receive the information that could potentially prevent them from becoming a victim of CSA. If you wanna learn more about CSA prevention, then I would suggest watching this video on how to talk to your kid about online grooming. Now, if you are finding this video to be helpful, I will ask you to please tap that like button so this gets pushed in the algorithm and sent to more parents. Or you can just share this video, share the link with a parent who you think may find it helpful as well.